Hey y'all, so I know that this news is a couple of days old at this point, but regardless, I still wanted to get it out here and make a quick video going over my thoughts and opinions on the newly announced so-called Steam Controller 2. So firstly, this is not exactly a brand new Steam Controller. It's actually not even made by Valve, but rather it's made by a company called Hori uh, for the Japanese market, which for those of us in the US like myself certainly is a little bit frustrating. But regardless, it's good to see that Valve have not completely given up on their idea of having their own standalone controllers. And as you may remember from past Steam Deck videos that I've made, that I would love nothing more than the ability to buy a brand new controller from Valve that essentially has all of the same functionality and features of my Steam Deck for use with all my PC games on any device. And it seems like with this controller, we're taking a pretty big step in the right direction. So this Hori controller is going to be fully licensed by Valve, and it's going to be fully compatible, of course, with Steam Input and Steam on Desktop, as well as the Steam Deck. Now, this controller won't have all of the features of the deck, though, like the touch capacitive thumbsticks and track pads and all of that stuff, but it does have a lot of features and a lot of nice to haves. So firstly, there's going to be four remappable buttons. There's going to be two on the front and two paddles on the back. It also has dedicated buttons for Steam Big Picture mode and the quick access menu, which are really great features to have on a controller because I feel like everybody now wants to use big picture mode. I feel like for a lot of people, that's how they enjoy their Steam library these days anyway. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Hall Effect joysticks, which is something that I would really like to see. Um, I know Hall Effect joysticks are a lot more durable than your standard potentiometer based ones. So we'll have to really see how longevity is for this controller. But regardless, it should work pretty well. But it also does offer uh, either wireless over Bluetooth or wired connection. So you can use it either way, which is great. Battery life is estimated to be about 12 hours, which is also pretty decent, and it's set to release on October 31st for close to 8,000 yen, or $50. But again, unfortunately, it's only been announced to be released in Japan, so we'll have to wait and see how things go if it'll actually eventually make it over to the US for us to check out. But for more news and updates, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.